Crystal McClellan had been buried in an unmarked grave at Redwood Memorial Cemetery for nearly 12 years. But now she lies beneath a beautiful headstone, and it's all because of a friend who refused to let her be forgotten. Ginger Phillips scrubs Crystal's recently placed gravestone, then shares a poem that she wrote for her. Everywhere she'd go, the sun would always shine. The lights crossed over into all of our lives. Ginger and Crystal met while both were patients at the Utah State Psychiatric Hospital in 2007. She was very huggy and um, sweet. She just was spunky. She had just turned 20, but she was still like 15 to me, like a little sister. Um, it was fun having a little sister again. Ginger smiles as she remembers Crystal's pigtails, her stuffed SpongeBob SquarePants, and the time that she met Donny Osmond. But two days after Christmas of 2007, Crystal died unexpectedly, the victim of an undiagnosed bowel obstruction. They brought all the patients into the day room and told us that Crystal died. And I started screaming and just sobbing, and they have to take me out because it was too much she knew your pain she shared your pain her innocence took it away crystal's family never got her a grave marker so her resting place was marked by a numbered metal disc ginger worked to raise money for a headstone a seemingly impossible goal until provo monument maker nathan beasley created this one and donated it it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. <laughs> I feel this sense of peace right now. Just, I never thought it would happen and I'm so glad it did. I think I'm the only patient who really, really remembers and cared about Crystal. I love you, Crystal. You'll always be like my little sister. On Wednesday evening at Crystal's gravesite, Ginger held a small ceremony attended by some of her friends and staff members from the Utah State Hospital. Coming up.